Burnham Interview About Baden-Powell This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, visit LibriVox.org. Burnham Interview About Baden-Powell by Frederick Russell Burnham Published in The Manchester Guardian, page 10, May 19, 1900 this interview came by way of Reuters telegrams and took place on the day of the arrival of the British relief force at Mafeking, the day the Boer abandoned the siege and the British force took possession of the town. Limfontaine, Tuesday I have had a long conversation with F. R. Burnham, the famous American scout, now employed with Lord Robert's army who gave me his impressions of Colonel Baden-Powell, formed from personal contact on active service. Of the gallant defender of Mafeking, he said, Returning with others from the Matabella War, aboard ship, we happened one day to discuss coming men. Naturally, Baden-Powell's name was mentioned. I said that he was the ideal of what the British officer should be. He fought with his brains as well as with his hands, whereby good work was accomplished and waste of men saved. Yet, in a fight to the finish, he was not slack, but as stubborn and bulldog a combatant as the best of those who discarded strategy. Whilst, as my chief, I naturally stuck up for him, nevertheless, apart from that, I have the highest regard for him to be the true type of soldier of the future, one of those who should and must command armies, if victories are to be won. As a soldier, his tact, readiness, and resources are remarkable. These things do not come by accident, but are the result of careful garnering and the accumulation of minute details used to advantage. Where people imagined him reckless, Baden-Powell really was cautious, venturing rarely in a critical position to use measures except such as had been essayed before under similar circumstances. He left little to chance, endeavoring by personal inspection and supervision to cover the whole ground over which operations were to be conducted. I know he was criticized for wearing rubber shoes, and crawling about rocks of nights instead of leaving such tasks to others. We nicknamed him Old Rubber Shoes. But he was right, despite all their poking fun at him, for he gathered in a night, and has possibly forgotten, more than his critics could learn in a lifetime. That is the knowledge that doubtless he has gained by painstaking personal experience, that has enabled him to defend Mavaking so long against such heavy odds. Baden-Powell is a wonderfully able scout and a quick sketcher. On one occasion, in the Matapas, he was in a very trying situation, surrounded by twenty-five so-called friendlies who were waiting to kill him. Apparently unconcerned, he worked away his hardest, and made an accurate drawing of the whole position. One of the closest shaves was at a spruit, six miles from Bulawayo. A coffer scout had concealed himself in a tree beneath which several officers rested, and the nigger fired down at Baden-Powell, the bullet just grazing his skull. Of course, the coffer was killed. Baden-Powell profited by the occurrence, remarking that it would be just as well to look up as down when scouting thereafter. The Boers say that Baden-Powell is by far the slimmest officer that the British have, and they greatly dread him, and with good reason. All the bits of odd knowledge that he has so studiously gathered for the last twenty years are stored away in his active brain. The result of that great unostentatious labor he has diligently been utilizing for the saving of the community at Mafeking. I don't know another man who could have done his work there if the same conditions had been imposed on him. 
end of burnham interview about baden-powell